Welcome, I'm Joan Worley, and this is the TV Stretch and Flex class. I'd like to focus on making healthy choices. It's easy to say, I'm gonna start exercising, I'm gonna change my eating, and I'm gonna do this and this and this. If you do too many all at once, you probably won't be successful, but if you just take one thing at a time, and see if you can do it every day for six weeks, you can get into a new habit or new behavior. So let's think about it while we're stretching. See if there's a one thing you wanna tackle and just tackle it for six weeks every day. All right, let's get started. Make yourself comfortable sitting on the ground, on your mat, sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna start with our breathing. If you want and you like to put your hands on your belly, go right ahead or keep your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, gather all the stuff that you are keeping in your head, and as you exhale, let it go, and see if you can just focus on the breath. That's it, good. Take your time, breathing in through your belly, not up in your chest, and slowly exhale. If you want to close your eyes, it helps you concentrate, clearing your mind, staying in the present, that's good. Take your time. And let's start leaning forward as you take your deep breath in. Take your time, feel that stretch in your hips, your lower back. Lean until you can't take another breath. And then slowly exhale, tuck your belly button in. And round your back. Continue. Now your tempo might be a little bit faster. Just try and slow down as much as you can as you breathe in and out. Take your time, warm up those hips. A couple more. And leaning forward. And back. And one more, when you're done, just wait for us to finish. finish up and nice and tall all right we're gonna do some wrist circles I'm just gonna take your hands and you're gonna start circling them all four directions try and circle them around take it easy take your time warm those wrists up there you go and let's go the other way circling down and around there you go and shake them out Let's do it again and circle around. And it doesn't matter if they're both going the same direction or the other direction. Whatever you can work out is fine with me. <laughs> and reverse whatever you're doing, go the other way. And shake them out. Okay, we're gonna get started with our straight legs forward and put our legs together. And let's sit up nice and tall. Remember your ear, shoulder, hip in a straight line. Backs of your knees are gonna try and press against the mat. Your feet straight up, your knees are straight up and your ankles are together. We're gonna to keep our arms down. We're gonna take a deep breath in and as you exhale, lean forward with a nice flat back. And you might be stiff, you maybe you just got up or you're, it's cold outside and your body's not working. So you might not be able to go as far forward as you did last time. Just relax. Let the muscles go, feeling a nice stretch. Hands can be on the mat or on your knees or on your legs, whatever you want. Shoulders go up and down and then let them go. Be sure you're stretching nice and tall. Pretend I'm putting my hands right below your waist and I'm pressing you so you're leaning forward. Again, you're not tucking yet, you're just leaning forward. Each time you exhale, you wanna relax the muscles more and go farther forward or just stay where you are and keep relaxing the muscles. Your hands can keep walking forward as you get a little closer. Now let's say you had a big breakfast or dinner and you can't lean forward because your belly's in the way and it's uncomfortable. Put your legs out a little bit and maybe you can go a little farther forward. All right, now we're gonna take that deep breath in. We're gonna exhale, tuck your chin around your back and see if you can go a little farther with your hands. So as your chin tucks in, relax the shoulders and see if you can walk your hands farther forward. Let's say you can't go any farther forward with your hands, but you're still not feeling that perfect stretch. You could bring your toes up towards your nose and see if you can make an extension on that stretch. Take your time. Let's focus on the breath. Relax, use your breath. And 
very slowly. You're going to start from your lowest vertebra and roll up, keeping your chin tucked all the way till you sit up nice and tall. And then the neck and then the head comes up. Great. And you might want to release the tension in your back so you can just turn, look around. And the other side. Oh, that's good. All right, let's do that stretch again. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward. Now your thighs really tight. As you exhale, relax, let those thighs go. Elbows are bent, hands are crawling forward each time you exhale and relax. Now for those that are really flexible, you can go and try and put your hands on the bottom of your feet. But when you do that, I don't want you to bring the tension to your shoulders. You still have to have your elbows bent and on the ground. Okay, so we're still leaning straight forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back. See if you can go a little farther forward, stretching those hands forward. If you need to, shake your legs out. Be sure you're not holding any tension. And if you can hold on to the bottom of your feet, still not getting that extra stretch, bring your toes up towards you. Use your breath and relax. And slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll up. Keep your chin tucked, then your neck, and then your head. Good, all right, let's turn to our right. Stretch out the back, and to the other side. Oh, good, all right, one more time. Deep breath in, exhale, lean forward. And maybe going a little bit farther. Relax those shoulders, shake those legs out, flat back. Use your breath. And deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, and continue to stretch forward. Jack, are your elbows bent and on the ground? Chin is to your chest. Use your breath to relax. And as slow as you can, roll up one vertebra at a time. Take your time, take your time. And sit up nice and tall. Okay, let's look around to our right. And left. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on our stomachs and we're gonna do a double leg lift. But I need to warn you, if you have lower back problems, I don't want you to lift your legs whatsoever. In fact, Marianne, why don't you guys get on your stomach and I'm gonna tell them a couple things. Now, Marianne's gonna put her hands in front with her forehead or her uh, forehead on the hands. That's more comfortable for her back. When she tightens her legs, she's not going to lift them whatsoever because she has a lower back problem and that will injure her, but she can still get strong and tighten her belly at the same time. Patty has her arms with the palms flat so she can get more of a, a resistance while she lifts her legs. And again, we're not trying to get them as high as we can. We wanna just lift them and feel the back and the stomach and legs tightening. Okay, let's try that together. All right, so. Legs together, hands down here, forehead and chin are on the ground. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift those legs, tighten up. Keep that head down, press with your hands. Keep holding as long as you can when you need to, lower your legs. Keep everything nice and tight. And as you slowly lower, you're breathing in. And I'm gonna relax a moment. And again, take a deep breath in. Exhale, tighten, and either tighten and leave your legs on the ground or lift them as high as you can. Remember, we're not having to get them too high. Feel your back tightening, your stomach tightening, your thighs, your legs. Hold, hold, hold. And very slowly relax. Okay. And we're only gonna do this one more time. This is very tough to do. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift those legs. Now you might wanna go to easy breathing if you're still holding them up and very slowly lower. Okay, now what we're gonna do is let's uh, put our hands underneath our shoulders. We're gonna come up 
sit on our heels, rest your hands here, and try and press this part of your back up so you're reversing what you just did. Just press it up and release. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Press up, it's right here. You're pressing up, stretching that lower back. And release, and one more time. And press up. And release, great. Okay, come on up, and we're gonna review what we did last time. And it's nice to have Patty with us and Marianne for this show. All right, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. Toes up, knees up, and this is very similar to the straight leg forward that we just did, but we're gonna add our arms and do some more stretching. Stretch as high as you can, squeeze your ears. Pretend someone's pulling your fingers up. Lean back, but keep that straight back. You don't wanna bend your back, don't wanna drop your head. One way or the other, you wanna keep a nice straight back. Feel the belly working, feel the back strengthening. Keep stretching, and then come up to straight. Bring your hands down, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Lean forward, flat back, and then bring your elbows forward so you feel your back just stretching. And you have to breathe. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Work on your breath. Just keep relaxing. Keep going farther forward. And again, if you ate too much and you need to have your legs apart, that's okay. Keep stretching. Shake the legs out if you need to. Shoulders up and down and let them go. All right, let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin around your back. Your hands go towards your feet. Keep moving them farther forward. Keep relaxing. Okay, now what you're gonna do is stretch your hands past your feet or towards your feet. Squeeze your ears. Tighten your belly and back and sit up nice and tall. Nice and straight, nice and straight. Tighten that belly and back. Good, and let's bring our arms down. And we're gonna do it again, but I just wanna release the tension and let's start again. Stretch as high as you can, nice and tall. And lean back, keep it nice and tall, nice flat back. That's it, and keep stretching. And sit up tall, thumbs inside, fingers outside, elbows go out, feel the back stretching, leaning forward, flat back, and you're breathing. Nice and slow, deep breath in, and exhale. Nice and straight. All right, let's take a breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back. Stretch those hands towards your feet, but the elbows are bent. And we're gonna be here for a moment, so I want you to just focus on your breath. Keep your head clear and relax. And stretch those hands towards your toes or past your feet, whichever you can do. Tighten your belly and back. Sit up nice and tall, flat back, and release. Okay, let's turn and look one direction and the other. Nice, okay. Uh, let's get on our sides. We're gonna do our hip lifts advanced. All right, so swing your legs around. Now, the hip lift, you want to have the bottom leg bent, and you don't want it in front of you. You want half of it in front of you and the other half of your leg behind you. Remember, this is our straight line. Then you're going to help support your head. You can lean this way. You can be down on the ground. You can have a pillow, whatever is comfortable for you, so you keep that back nice and tight. All right, now the hip lift. We're going to do several different ways. Patty is going to um, bring her leg up. Straighten it straight out to the right out in front of her and then bend it and bring it back. Marianne is going to have her leg right at the hip level and she's going to just lift it up straight. And then I'm going to try and bring mine up a little higher and get it up. All right, so you ready? All right, let's do it. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lift that leg up only to your hip height and then slowly lower. Now, while you're doing it, you're going to exhale as we lift our leg and inhale as you go down, nice. Now if you get a cramp, you just stop, stretch that leg out and then start again. That's it, nice and easy and down, good. And exhale, lift up and down, feel the strength developing and exhale up, that's it. And down, we're halfway through and lift up 
and down, up, and down, and two more, and up, and down, last one, up, and down, great. Okay, bring your legs in and let's go to the other side. So, swivel those legs in. Great. Okay. Good position. Bottom legs bent. Support your head. Put your hand in front. And you're either going to be lifting your leg up, stretching it out, bending it down, or you're going to have it straight ahead. All right, so let's get started. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift up and breathe in as you lower. Nice, nice and controlled. Exhale, again, we're not going very high. That's it, and down. And up. And down. Take your time. Up. We're halfway through right now. Okay, and four more. And lift up. Take your time. And down. Up, blowing out, and inhale. Exhale, inhale, and last one. Exhale, and inhale. Nice. Okay, let's bring our leg back in, and we're gonna get on our backs and do our combo back extension. All right, first you start with your knees bent, feet flat, and you're going to take, let's take a right leg, and you're going to put it rested on the knee. Now, if you want a better stretch and you're not feeling you're getting a stretch whatsoever, then put your foot, the side of your foot, on your thigh, and you will feel a better stretch. You're going to take both hands over your head. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, press that thigh down and stretch your spine. Really stretch, keep stretching. And release. Again, deep breath in, exhale, press that knee away, stretch over your head, keep stretching. That's good, keep going. And release. And one more time, deep breath in, exhale, stretch and press. Keep stretching, get a little taller. And release, okay. Let's change legs, other leg crossing over. Again, to intensify the stretch, instead of keeping your ankle at your knee, you can put the side of your foot. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, press that leg down and stretch. Keep stretching. Nice. And release. We have two more to go. Deep breath in. Exhale and stretch. And release. And one more deep breath in. Stretch and press. Stretch a little higher. And release. Okay, let's put our feet flat. And we're gonna do a little bit of stomach work like we always do. So we bring your legs up to your chest. Hold on behind your knee. And I want you to take a deep breath in as you exhale. Tuck that belly in as if the belly button's going to the mat or the back of your spine. Keep that nice and tight. And then let's stretch our legs up to get two for one. Stretching your legs. Now if they're bent, that's okay. Hold it there, relax. Now maybe you aren't feeling the intensity that you want. You can always bring your toes down even if your legs aren't straight. Now if your legs are straight, you can still bring your toes down. And again, you can hold on to your, your shoes if you want, your pant legs, I don't care. See if you can get a really good stretch. Keep stretching. And tuck your chin, lower your head. Bring your legs down and relax. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, forehead to your knees. Straighten your legs. Belly button's tight. Hold on, hold on. Now relax. Bring your toes down if you need to for that stretch. And head goes down. Relax your legs. And one more, deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin up, forehead to your knees, straighten those legs, and hopefully they can go a little bit farther forward.
and bend those knees in and lower the feet. Okay, a little more back work. We're gonna do hip lifts and do pelvic tilt and lift up as high as we can, supporting our back. Deep breath in, exhale, pelvic tilt. Make your back nice and flat. Roll up, keep rolling. Now take your hands and help support and feel a nice stretch in your thighs. That's it. Or if you don't need your hands there, you can bring your hands underneath and clasp your hands. That's it, nice and tall. Keep everything nice and tight. And as slow as you can, roll back down. Nice and slow. Excellent, and release. Get that natural curve in your back. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. Get as high as you can. If you need to, support with your hands. Put the hands underneath. Feel a nice stretch in the front of your thighs. And slowly go down. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. And support yourself if you need to. Bring your hands down, get high. And as slow as you can, roll back down. Oh, nice. Now let's counteract that by bringing both the legs up to our chest. And go side to side with your knees. Nice and easy. Release the tension in your back. And roll those knees in a circle. And other direction. Okay, put your feet flat. Let's bring our right leg up to our chest, hand behind your knee. Same idea that we were doing when we are bringing both legs up and stretching, but we're gonna do one at a time. Keep your thigh close to your chest. You don't let the thigh away. You keep it snug to that chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press through your heel and straighten that leg, but don't let the thigh go. All right, now you might not be able to get it very far, but you're gonna feel a nice stretch. If you don't have enough stretch, but your leg can't straighten out anymore, bring your toe down and that'll increase it. Keep working it using your breath, stretch it out. And slowly bend and relax. Let's do the other leg and bring it up. Deep breath in, exhale, go to easy breathing. Try and straighten your leg out, but the thigh is close to your chest. Keep stretching, keep stretching, but relax. Use your breath. There you go, keep stretching. Nice. And back down. Okay, let's do three stretches. Bring your legs up to your chest, they're bent. Head comes up to your knees, curl in and then put your legs down, stretch over your head, press those knees into the mat. Ah, that's good. And again, bring those legs up, head up, chin down, head down, stretch. And one more time, bring those legs up, hands behind your knee, head comes up, keep your chin tucked, lower your head, stretch those legs, first you bend, put them down and stretch. Okay, ladies, you have deserved this relaxation. Make yourself comfortable. And remember, make healthy choices one at a time. You might want to take care of exercising and getting into a nice routine every day for six weeks and you'll get into a nice pattern. Maybe eating habits might want to be changed. You can start with something very simple, cutting something out of your diet and maybe that will help you. Remember, six weeks every day will change a habit. Thanks for being with us. This is your time to relax. Take a deep breath in. Feel your lungs full of fresh air. And slowly exhale letting go of your stress, your burdens, your pain. Continue to breathe slowly in and out. Your face is relaxed. 
your neck and shoulders are relaxed. Your arms relax and your fingers are slightly open. Your back and chest, stomach and seat are relaxed. All the way down your legs to your toes, you've let go, you're relaxed. Deep breath in, from the top of your head down to your toes. You're not holding any tension. You've let go. You find yourself next to a brook. You squat down. You have no shoes on. And your toes are wiggling in the rich earth. It feels so lush. You put your hands next to the bank. And you play with the water. You're relaxing, letting go each time you move your hands in the water. Very simple. Letting go. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Roll to your side. And when you're ready, take your top hand, press yourself up. With a deep breath in and out. 